Hi, I'm Reverend Pamela M. Pinckney Butts, presidential candidate for the United States of America in this 2020 election. I'm um, unveiling so I can speak with you. I want you to remember to vote for me. I'm out of Cuyahoga County in Ohio. And I just wanted to share with you some people who I have in place to help you with some of your concerns. If you're concerned about the dialysis care for the people who are receiving dialysis, please contact the Dialysis Advocates, uh, which is a national uh, entity in place to protect and to provide services for the rights and the welfare of dialysis patients and those supporting the people. Uh, Arlene, A-R-L-E-N-E dash Mullen, M-U-L-L-I-N at dialysis advocates.com. If you have a concern regarding your uh, veterans care and the veterans, if you have concern regarding your uh, advocacy, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Richard Kingsbury has the National Association of Black Veterans. This also deals with the displacement of veterans. If you are concerned about black on black crime, there's Mr. Art McCoy, the founder of Black on Black Crime Incorporated, who has the University of Common Sense on Sundays from 5 a.m. to 7, I mean, correction, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on AM 1490 WERE, the University of Common Sense. For Black on Black Crime Incorporated, the president, under the leadership of Mr. Art McCoy, is Mr. Alfred Porter, Jr., in order to contact him, you may contact him at 1216-804-7462. If you are concerned about helping address the rights of the disabled community, please contact Don Tez Taylor at 1216-624-0967, uh, who is also my community liaison for this campaign. And uh, should you be uncomfortable uh, addressing a male person because of maybe some situations that you have found yourself to be in, please contact Monique Hawkins and uh, Mr. Taylor can further direct you on how to do that as well as my vice presidential running mate, Nikki Kies, also appearing to be Keys, but it's actually pronounced Kies, Nikki LaShannon Kies Stinnett who is my vice presidential running can, uh, running mate, my vice presidential candidate running mate, who is out of California. Should you have other concerns, well, Monique's phone number is 216-647-1154. She's very passionate about uh, helping the, di uh, the disabled community as well as Dantez Taylor is as well. And we're in place. We're in place to and position to assist you in your needs. Those are just four of the uh, components that I do have in position and in place. I'm Reverend Pamela M. Pinkney Butts, presidential candidate for the United States of America for the 2020 election. Yes, you are able and in position to vote for me. My. Uh, Candidate identification number is P00008839. It's been in place since November of 2018. However, some bullying has been taking place. And uh, some people have actually been threatened. Their, their livelihood has been threatened uh, that if they don't put Mr. Biden and Ms. Harris's signs out, then they will lose their housing, as well as some bullying and threatening in terms of Mr. Trump and Mr. Pence. Uh, and then uh, the ushering in of Kanye West uh, to make sure that uh, I do not win the presidential seat, uh, that's not acceptable either. Uh, I would love to have your vote, and I'd love to have your support. And today is the 29th day of October 2020, and today is also the memorial of the Imperial Avenue women who were murdered on Imperial Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. Mr. Anthony Solwell is convicted of the crime, and he's now in prison serving uh, 
a life sentence. Uh, uh, the death penalty is, is accessible to him as well. I understand that uh, Kamala Harris signed off on a bill recently in California stating that sexual predators, sexual offenders, do not have to register for 11 years. And these sexual predators are adults who sexually violate children, young people, minors. Kamala Harris, home-wrecking Kamala Harris, who was the babysitter but now is married to the husband, Kamala Harris. But these, this is the woman that they want to represent us as females who was put in place to try to knock me out the race, Kamala Harris. Mr. Biden and the, <coughs> the destruction that he has caused to our transportation system, that's very crucial. I understand that today that the uh, Cuyahoga County Council is considering uh, issuing another stay-at-home order <laughs> for another act of voter suppression so that people cannot get out and vote. Uh, people have been frightening you with this COVID-19. You need not be afraid. Yes, it's real. So is the murder of black people. So is the takeover of uh, the land by those who have not been here originally uh, from the days of Christopher Columbus. <laughs> so is injustice in the courthouse. So is the flu. So is pneumonia. So is AIDS. So is cancer. So is uh, homelessness. Oh, by the way, there's a federal stay-at-home order that a, a federal order that says that no judges to evict anyone during this time, but that's not happening either. Judges are making people homeless now during this pandemic more than ever before. And dialysis patients are being left outside in this pandemic. This airborne pandemic denied their medical care at dialysis centers because the dialysis centers are corporations, not medical facilities. Am I aware of current events? Absolutely so. And keep in mind, do not forget that on December 5th, 2017, Cuyahoga County implemented some more slavery because Thomas Corwin, who was the uh, federal representative and a federal senator, a governor from Ohio, and uh, the secretary of the money, the treasury, rent had written down that under no circumstances is slavery ever to be abolished in the United States of America. The American Civil Liberties Union endorsed this bill or this legislation on December the 5th, 2017. So did the police chief of Fairview Park, who after they took the cameras off of me, stood over me and asked me, did my grandchildren have license plates? because they want to create a criminal history for my children, myself, and now my grandchildren. I have no criminal history, and I'm not going to have one. My children were stolen from me, 2002, uh, uh, October 10th, 2002, and uh, a guardian ad litem named Carolyn Thurston came to the courthouse and said that she was there to see to it that my children would return to me because they were in better hands with me than they could ever be in the hands of the government. Well, they removed her, and now all of my children are suffering and have gone through uh, some horrible conditions and situations because the Department of Children and Family Services put them back into the homes of the abusers, exchanging money. The most human and sexual trafficking comes through the Department of Children and Family Services under the umbrella of the United States Department of Health and Human Services, which human and sexual trafficking is mere common day slavery. I'm Reverend Pamela M. Pickney Butts, and I'm here to offer you more and better. I'm also uh, a five-fold preacher licensed and ordained in all five positions of the church, and any of you preachers that would join with me on this endeavor and this effort to uh, make things right, <laughs> so that Ichabod is not written upon this land, please do so. Uh, my candidacy phone number is 216-548-0820, and my headquarters is located at 1520 East 219th Street, Euclid, Ohio, 44117. 
and the uh, phone number is 216-303-9804. If you're outside of America, put a one before that to Dallas. My ministry main line is 216-466-2872. I also, I also am the founder and visionary for Global Engagement Dissolving Violence Against Women and Children. And that phone number is 1216-848-8907. I have other people in position, other people in place, other people ready to see about you. Because remember that family matters, faith matters, finances matter, futures do matter. Your voice, your voice and your vote always matter to me. Thank you so much. Be blessed and be safe. And remember, righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is <laughs> a reproach to any people. We, the people of faith, do we make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. I'm Reverend Pamela M. Pickney Butts, presidential candidate for the United States of America for this 2020 election. You be blessed, be safe, be wise, and be counted. Take care. Oh, I'm also the chaplain for the East Cleveland chapter of the League of Women Voters. And I wonder what the League of Women Voters really thinks about Resolution 2017-2016. Because it's based upon the laws of 1800. And as we celebrate our 50-year anniversary in the League of Women Voters, looks like they're trying to take the clock backwards. Now move us forward. Don't forget about the Faithful Few on Friday nights, everybody, at 2953 East 79th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44104. Reverend Ernest Sanders is a visionary for the Faithful Few because there are a few that find the road to the faith and that stay on it. Take care now and be blessed. Don't forget the Chili, the chili Most radio show as well.